lasting effects, solutions for the healthcare and cosmetics industry, automate processes, guarantee security, and optimize supply capabilities. The distribution of pharmaceutical and cosmetic products places stringent quality demands on intralogistics operations. All processes must be controlled and transparent with fast and error-free delivery. In-depth product tracing is essential for distribution centers that handle prescription drugs. Accuracy and accountability are crucial to comply with both the FDA Drug Supply Chain Security Act and the EU Falsified Medicines Directive. Our team of experts develop holistic modular solutions for omni-channel distribution operations with fast-paced e-commerce requirements. Shaper scan machines implement intelligent image processing technology to identify documentation, sort items, and read 1 and 2D barcodes on all six sides. These unique security features enable traceable picking. With the SSI order verifier, individual or batch picked orders are identified, counted, checked, and documented in a single step, regardless of packaging. This creates reliable quality control at a throughput up to 12,000 items per hour. For automated multi-order picking, the batch pick and scan sorter reads barcodes before dividing them into customer orders. SSI Schaefer was commissioned to construct a complete automated distribution center for Natura, the Brazilian market leader for cosmetics, perfume, and personal hygiene products. At the heart of the solution is the Schaefer A-Frame for picking of fast-moving products. With the ability to perform complex order consolidations automatically, the A-Frame is perfect for picking small packaging units without errors. The scalable modular carousel system provides storage and picking for medium and slow-moving product and features ergonomic pick delight workstations. The QB is a single-level shuttle system ideal for fully automated storage of bins and cartons. Designed for maximum storage density, the QB ensures high performance, optimized material flow, and compact system layout. WAMIS Logistics Software is the link between goods in, storage, picking, and delivery. A clear visualization and comprehensive control tools for processes, resources, and stocks ensure efficient warehouse operations. SSI Schaefer draws on a wealth of expertise and technologies for the continuous supply of product in the healthcare and cosmetic industries. Our manual, semi, or fully automated solutions will adapt to your increasing requirements. SSI Schaefer, the remedy for your warehouse woes. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us in this afternoon's webinar on what does it take to be a leader in healthcare logistics. I'm Alison, the Regional Marketing Manager for SSI Schaefer Asia. On our webinar today, we have five speakers with us, all the way from Austria, Mr. Marco Klaus, Vice President of Healthcare and Cosmetics, Mr. Skora Herbert, Director of Technologies and Solutions Healthcare and Cosmetics, and from Singapore, we have Mr. Wallace Tay, Regional Director of Logistics Solutions, Mr. Vignesh Krishna Moody, and Ms. Cartia Miller, Logistics Solutions Consultant. On our webinar agenda today, we will cover four topics. Along the webinar, you may post your questions in the chat box. We will have a Q&A segment to address the questions at the end of the presentation. To get things moving, we will have Mr. Wallace today to begin the first topic. Thank you, Alison, for the introduction. A very good Friday morning and afternoon to all ladies and gentlemen. Uh, why morning and afternoon? Because uh, on this virtual meet, we have people dialing in from Europe as well and uh, in the different time zone. All right. 
So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you in accepting our invite to this healthcare webinar by Schaefer System International. I'd like to take this opportunity to also thank customers, associates, and partners who have supported us for the last 35 years in Asia and also 85 years globally. Now on this note, please allow me to take you through Schaefer System International, also known, better known as SSI Schaefer today. Now amid the current pandemic situation that we are all experiencing today, SSI have been very engaged with many companies in various industry, namely healthcare and cosmetic, yeah, retail, fashion, wholesale, e-commerce, general industries, adopting different or technologies to enhance their business into the new norm. Now, just to share with you on the top three focus that they are looking for, uh, probably you are also looking for the same. Now they ask, okay, how can I improve operational safety during this pandemic situation for my workers? How do I minimize human interface on product handling? As you know, the current pandemic situation touch uh, virus are transmitted with surfaces and things like that. They will say, hey, how do I minimize this product handling by my people? How do I expand service quality with accuracy to be closer to their customers? Very interesting uh, outlook and very interesting focusing area they are looking at. Now, of course, this uh, uh, requirement is really pushing us to the new uh, uh, requirement and new norm. But I think for, for, for that, uh, SSI Schaefer is truly fairly upbeat with this uh, future and hence we continue to expand and innovate to serve the industries. These slides here demonstrate our global commitment to serve our customer worldwide. Now with our 85 years of know-how in material handling and intra logistics, we continue to add strength to companies like you to endeavor to move towards using technologies to make difference for your workers, customers, and of course, your serving partners. In Asia, our regional HQ is in Singapore. Now we do have establishment in most ASEAN countries, including Hong Kong, Taiwan, and South Korea. Now SSI, have also placed one of our manufacturing facilities in Malaysia. And the intent is very obvious. We want to be able to respond timely to a customer like you in this region and serving you better. Now our full suite of products and solution has continued to evolve and we have become one of the broadest intra logistics solution providers in the industry. Now our products, our focus of course, is not just products. We want to bring you intra logistics on your business to serve your business needs and truly your drivers. Now, apart from our solution, our customer service support will always be there and to upkeep equipments that we deliver to customers like you. These slides shows you the many technologies and solution from manual up to fully automated system to cater for storage conveying, picking, and handling technologies. Now, apart from this, our IT solution, namely Walmart, and much adopted SAP EWM module, delivers seamless support for all warehouses and material flow management process. Now, in essence, SSI always stay connected with you to provide you with many possibilities of uh, material handling solution that can help you drive your business needs to a new level. While we today we focus on healthcare industry, uh, my colleagues will also take you through the many challenges and also examples that we have helped our customers to achieve their goals. Let me take you through some of the key leading trends in Asia. For the healthcare industry. Now let me begin how Asia healthcare fair globally. Going clockwise in this slide, Asia 4.6 million population, billion population, with the largest population, of course, China, India, and have accounts for 36% of the global medicine spending at up to 20 billion US dollars. 
While many smart hospitals are also on the rise, we see a hefty 12.7 billion spending on digitization platform in the healthcare industry. Lastly, driven by e-commerce and clinical trials, which is going at 20% growth year on year. Now, the demand of hospitals is also on the rise. Asia requires currently 3.4 million hospital beds to address the demand, and not including the medical tourists at least of 7 million people. Now, on the research by World Bank, IMF, OECD, Frost and Sullivan, Quadra Capital, etc. As you can see in this slide at the uh, bottom, uh, bottom right hand corner, really the total healthcare spending in Asia will exceed US dollars, 4 trillion. And this massive market opportunity players uh, is obviously for, for all of us. The immense amount is not surprising. As a study foresee that two thirds of population will be 65 years uh, by the year 2030. Now, not to mention the paradigm shift from acute and chronic diseases. Now, for Asia, the middle class population is set to rise to 66% in 2030, and the public health care expenditure is envisaged at 34% as compared to OECD, which consists of uh, OECD is consists of 37 countries, uh, and they are at 62%. Now, the healthcare industry is truly in demand and should not be undermined. Asia is really a global epic center for healthcare with approximately 12% growth as compared to the global growth at de demand at 5%. So, the good news is for all of us here. I mean, we, we, we are the right industry for growth. And, uh, and, what are the, and honestly, next, I think we need to understand and, and identify what are the trends that is driving our healthcare industry in Asia. Now, I have next uh, Mr. Klaus Mukko, my colleague, and Mr. Herbert, to share with you the challenges in the current uh, healthcare industry. Gentlemen, please. Thank you very much, Boris. Uh, like in every other industry, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical logistics sector has to overcome some special challenges. And some of them on top are the regulatory compliance, the product security, a lack of automation, uh, some crisis uncertainties, especially in those moments of times that we're facing now. These are supply chain costs. And last but not least, the truck inventory shortages. We now would like to concentrate on three of those main challenges and bring a little bit light into those. As a first one, we have the increased and ever-changing regulation as a growing concern for the healthcare industry worldwide. The problem of falsified, falsified medicines has been uh, existing for quite some years now and as a race for the COVID-19 vaccine continues, newly developed treatments and subsequently vaccines will be in high demand and low supply again, creating increased opportunities for the distribution of falsified medicines by criminals. This will not stop and we have to fight against that very, very hard. As a second point, we have country-specific regulation as a barrier for global ex expansion and entering new markets. Not only in Europe or the US, it has been an issue that there are no harmonized systems or regulations to make global concepts of pharmaceutical manufacturing and distribution easier for all stakeholders involved. SSI Schaefer has developed solutions to react these barriers as we can adopt to most of the local requirements with our own hardware and software solutions. More than 60% of companies are very or extremely concerned with the regulatory compliance as a supply chain issue. We at SSI Schaefer are putting a main emphasis on the logistics processes of our customers. And before we go into defining a warehouse layout, a lot of discussions about processes and material flow will take place with our customers. 
because only by being familiar with the customer's requirements on regulatory compliance and understanding the internal processes, we will be able to design the ideal solution that will fit for purpose and fulfill our customer needs. There's also growing reliance on third-party service providers that requires effective governance and risk management. As the business is currently changing towards more and more services being offered by and provided by third-party uh, providers, SSI Schaefer can assist with our long-time experience in the industry that all regulatory compliance requirements can be fulfilled by third-party logistics companies in close cooperation with our market sector experts all over the world. For the next slides, I would like to pass over to my colleague Herbert, who will highlight the next topics. Thank you, Klaus, uh, uh, for your uh, interesting information and insights of uh, regulatory and uh, uh, compliance in the healthcare uh, business. Uh, also from my side, a wonderful good afternoon to the audience and thanks uh, to spend time with us. But now let, let's talk about the product security and uh, the type of technology SSI Schaefer can offer to the market. Securing your products is at every stage uh, from the manufacturing uh, to the distribution is an essential part of the supply chain management. Not least because uh, of counterfeiters and need to target the pharmaceutical market. Preserving uh, patient safety and brand reputation is a top priority. So the industry has uh, reacted by developing a lot of technologies to improve track and tracing. Product security is about maintaining strict control of products at all stage of the supply chain, the suite of counterfeiting. Legal requirements like uh, FMD and the FDA and guidelines characterize the healthcare industry and the intralogistic too. From the goods in, do the goods out. Pharmaceutical products needs to be proved and verified seamlessly to ensure patient safety. In the US, uh, the FDA has estimated a counterfeit drug sales account for one to 5% of the total drug sales. This shows very clear the importance of product security. Product security is a global challenge to the pharma supply chain and needs to be addressed through adaptation by technology. In this context, technology means providing coordinated and certified interfaces all the way from the device to the software. We as uh, SSI Schaefer recognized very early the need of seamless end-to-end -end traceability through the warehouse. SSI Schaefer offers a comprehensive portfolio of manual to semi and fully automated solutions and technology to verify the serial number the batch number and the expired dates. Through targeted development, we can offer to our customer the most efficient solution to ensure product security through all the processes in the warehouse. Let me explain a short with short words five of our systems uh, which are supporting the product security. You see that uh, on the side of the of the slide. First, a manual product scanning by using radio frequency devices established and proven already a long time. In number two, with our proven goods to person picking station where you can pick up to 1000 picks per hour. And if equipped with additional with a scanning system, you are able to verify the products during the big move without spending any extra time. Number three, SSA Schaefer A-frame is the core piece for highly efficient picking of fast moving items and in combination and uh, combined 
with the SSI shape as can dangle. Uh, it's enables fast picking and product security and verification without any human interaction. Number four, you see the SSI Schaefer P speaking device, which is a fully automated solution for picking and scanning and verification in one move from the source to the target uh, uh, location. And number five, additionally, our SSI Schaefer order verifier rounds up the portfolio and covers a wide range of product categories and shapes. In combination with the above mentioned systems, traceability and product security for the entire SKU range is covered. In addition to track and trace applications, SSI Schaefer seamlessly supplies the whole range of manual, semi and fully automated products and systems to meet individual customer challenges with tailor-made interlogistic solutions. Finally, with our SSI Schaefer software platform, VAMAS, we offer a perfect holistic solution to manage and execute the interlogistic processes in your warehouse. Most important um, is an accurate data chaptering. The basis for seamless traceability is the interaction between the individual logistic areas from devices to the software, industrial 4.0, big data database. Only through consistent recording of process data, order data, SKU data, and process data will regulatory compliance and product security ensure. Two main things needs to be improved. The lack of visibility, a lot of companies still rely on manual data entry and lack of data management, and this, and this leads to higher costs. Many enterprises tend to forego the benefit of data-based decision-making. Highly manual processes by using manual labor, inefficient and stay on non-standardized processes that leads to higher operational costs. To improve efficiency means investing in automated solution, what leads to lean supply chain and avoid inefficiency. Cost-effective automated warehousing solutions allow great, greater visibility into inventory, shorter lead times and lower operational costs. At the end of my part, let me say one sentence. Working with SSI Schaefer also means that the company has a partner with a strong presence and a, and a knowledge of the global pharmaceutical sector as well the country specific regulation. Thanks for your attention and let me hand over to my colleague Vignesh. Yeah, sorry for the technical delay there. So thank you, Klaus and Herbert for explaining the challenges in healthcare logistics. I hope our customers or audience here can certainly relate to it, if not possibly living with it right now. But do not worry, these are definitely solvable challenges. So let's look at how SSI Schaefer as a partner help you overcome these challenges through our expertise and uh, technology driven approach. Uh, the key question here, of course, is, is your healthcare logistic future ready? And by future ready, I do not mean a futuristic operation with robotics and so on, but rather as a relative term, right? So meaning to say, if you have a full suite operation with a lot of manual tasks, a GTP operation could be explored, and that could mean that you are future ready. Or if you are a service provider that would like to increase your profitability by reducing your overhead costs, let's say, then you could be future ready by exploring simple automation of repetitive tasks 
and rather a costly task inside your warehouse. So, so um, these are ways to be future ready. So let's look at how uh, we can do that by using a case study in this case. Beta Pharma in Madrid. This is one of our largest customer and uh, they are second largest healthcare distributor in Spain. And a point to note there is over 70% of their warehouse are implemented by SSI Schaefer. Well, here we have mainly addressed two of our key challenges, regulatory compliance and product security. Like my colleagues explained just now, these two key challenges are driving the healthcare supply chain and we will see how Schaefer has solved them through a nice video later on. Now for that purpose, um, before we jump into the video, let me show you an overview of the solution or process walkthrough if you like, so that we can get an idea of what systems we have in place with, before we zero in on uh, some of the key areas. Now at this point, I would be using some of automation jargons, uh, but to give you an idea, I am basically going to talk about storage, picking and handling areas basically. So without further ado, let me jump into the first area. That would be a storage buffer. In this case, we have planned a mini load system. A mini load system is basically a storage system that stores bins and cartons. Uh, you could also do a combination of them. Um, we have planned mini load in this um, solution, let's say, uh, along with flow channels. Flow channels are nothing but gravity flow racks, like you see here, blue color with bins. And overall, this is basically, as I mentioned, storage buffer that serves different picking areas. Now, before we jump on to the picking areas now, I would also like to talk a little bit about uh, something called a Pareto curve. Now, most of our audience would be familiar. Uh, when you are in logistics, you are always dealing with something called an 80-20 rule. Uh, basically, what is this? Uh, what is a Pareto curve means is we categorize SKUs in a warehouse based on its velocity. Uh, that could be a fast mover, medium or a slow mover. Now, what a Pareto means to us and for fast movers, let's say, is a very small amount of SKUs would contribute to a large portion of your business or large portion of your outbound volume, let's say. So it is important to note that you need different solution for different velocities. Now, having said that, in this case, we have provided solution for different velocities, starting with fast mover area. Now a fast mover area is basically, uh, we could also call it an A mover, and uh, we have designed for this case study basically with the A frame. Now A frame, basically it is, uh, it looks like an A in the cross section, and these are uh, automated picking modules that we have designed, and um, you don't need any picker to do the picking. Everything is automated. Only area we need people is basically replenishment. And the replenishment is basically coming from the flow racks, like you see here. I would explain a little bit more through the video in the next segment. However, moving on to the next area, we have the medium mover. Here, this is a classic um, shelving area for B movers. Here, we have also used uh, RF technology for picking. We would show, we will see further in the video again. The fourth area is a Schaefer carousel system. We call it SES. It is a high density, high throughput system supported by a goods to person system in this case. So goods to person picking. Uh, the area is mainly used for picking of slow movers that has a large variety. So you don't need to walk a lot to pick them. Now we have covered all the picking and storage areas. Finally, of course, we are talking about picking and verification. Um, and uh, last but not least would be uh, the Schaefer scan machine. Now this is a machine that does order verification and here in this case we can do 100% of order verification. Yeah. So that was an intro to our solution. Uh, we saw different parts of the solution. I would call it body parts of the warehouse. Now these are connected let's say by a nerve that is Schaefer's FT plus conveying system. And to control everything, uh, we need, of course, a brain, and that is our WAMAS, the warehouse control software that drives the entire solution. Now, let's look into each and every key area through the case study video, as I promised earlier. I hope I have covered different segments without too much content. So let's look into the video with a 
with a with a overview and um, I shall explain also along the video some of the key highlights of the solution. Yeah. So here we see a state of the art pharmaceutical distribution center of our customer Beta Pharma. It's in center of Madrid, Spain. What we would like to do or what I would like to do is to show you end to end supply chain in a way so you get a feeling of how this healthcare supply chain works in this area. Here you can see the customer, the end user itself is going to the pharmacy in the center of Madrid, pre ordering her medicine at the pharmacy itself. Now, as you can imagine, these orders are going to come into the warehouse, of course, not physically, virtually through an ERP system and then dropped onto the WMS or the WCS system. Now, once the orders are dropped, the orders are assigned to each individual totes before they are sent to uh, different zones. In this case, you see a scanner here that assigns the order to different totes. Now the first area, as I mentioned earlier, is of course the mini load area. The mini load system, as I mentioned earlier, is mainly used for replenishing the fast mover area. Here you can see the replenishment happening. The operator takes the tote, storage tote in this case, and starts to replenish the A-frame. Now A-frame itself is an automated picking module, as, as I mentioned, so picking is done automatically. You don't need any people to do that, and it's specifically designed for pharmaceutical items. The uh, A-frame can do anywhere between 10,000, around 10,000 items per hour. And of course, depending on the order structure itself, you can do much more. Um, here you see the orders are being dropped onto the belt with individual virtual windows and eventually onto a collection area. In this case, we have a double filling point that can do 1,600 totes per hour. Now that we have covered the fast mover area, the tote automatically goes to a second stop. In this case, a manual person to goods picking area. Here we have actually combined fast moving floor rack picking together with a medium moving uh, picking from the shelves. So each picker is assigned a zone and the order fulfillment is supported by the RF technology like you see here. The operator just needs to scan the tote, gets the order, fulfills the order, and then finally pushes onto the main line. The order is complete until uh, the medium mover now. Now again, nobody needs to take the individual tote. The tote automatically goes to the next stop. And here we see a goods to person system supported by a pick engine Schaefer carousel system. It is mainly used for slow movers with wide variety of SKUs where high density of storage is required. Of course, you don't need to walk to pick. Here you can see the picker standing in one position just assisted by pick by light and put to light system. So error it's, it's it's almost virtually error free and basically fulfills the order quite easily i would say now once all the picking is done the tote automatically goes to that to an order verifier here you can see a semi-automated version that we have designed for beta pharma the operator basically separates and aligns the product before it goes to a scanner at, from this point, everything else is automated. The scanner basically checks for error, captures the serial number, batch number, and finally records and sends the information back to the ERP system. Well, once it is scanned and verified, here the items finally merges to the original tote before it goes to the next stop. Yeah. Well, last but not least, we saw each and every pin, uh, picking and storage system and verification system, but also Schaefer has several handling machines, automated ones. Uh, well, here we, are, we see uh, some handling machines for inserting order information, automated lidding, shipping invoice insertion, and so on. Now, once this order is complete, it is ready to go to the uh, customer, or in this case, the pharmacy itself. And these are basically sorted by our FT plus conveyor in accordance with the destination route sequence. And yeah, finally the orders are sent to the respective pharmacy. Now the good thing here is, as I mentioned earlier, we see end-to-end -end supply chain. But the point to note here is, with the right mix of technology, the order fulfillment is so reliable that you can afford to have a supply chain that allows you to do so. The customer can basically place an order in the morning, receive it a few hours later in the pharmacy, and um, collect it uh, from the pharmacy. Here you see, a happy customer with an overall 
uh, really happy experience. And this can only be facilitated in my eyes through a fantastic fulfillment like you just now witnessed. Now I do understand that that's a lot of content. Perhaps maybe it's hard to follow from a video, but I would like to recap and also give you some key highlights of the solution. Uh, something to do with the productivity, of course. Yeah. Now let us recap the solution. Um, these are different systems, different zone routing uh, system. Basically, automatically the totes are routed to different zones and a seamless integration with WAMAS. We saw the first stop, which is which was a RF um, uh, uh, area or shelving area. Now this is a classic member of zone routing uh, solution itself. The key thing to note here is you do not need to live just with the manual area. It can seamlessly integrate with the automated picking or even a semi-automated picking and um, it can fit right well. So the productivity we all know anywhere between 80 to 100 depending on the zone size. So that is uh, the RF technology. We saw Schaefer's uh, one of our key product, I would say, when it comes to picking, that's a pick to tote station or like we call it PTT. And this is a special picking machine that can do about 1000 picks an hour. Well, basically here you are seeing a savings and full time equivalents about six to eight headcounts. Then we of course saw a frame. I would say it can do anywhere between 1200 orders per hour to 1600 orders per hour, depending on which filling um, point you use, single versus double. And uh, the savings in picking outgrows the headcount on uh, replenishment. So definitely I would say A-frame is the winner when it comes to pharma fulfillment. Well, of course, last but not least, we saw order verifier. In terms of productivity, you can see technically 5000 pieces per hour for a semi automated version like you see here. And we also have a fully automated version that can do anywhere between 8000 to 10000 pieces per hour. Now the usage for the semi auto semi automated version is somewhere between one headcount for one full time equivalent for placing the items and perhaps half a headcount for um, um, for errors uh, that might uh, Occur due to the machine itself, due to the order error itself. Yeah. Now, what do you see as an overall saving is roughly four to five headcounts compared to a typical uh, manual checking or a VAS operation. So, definitely, this machine is going to be useful when you are really looking at headcount savings. So, all in all, with the right mix of technology, expertise, and implementation capabilities. I would say it is certainly possible to overcome all the challenges, but most certainly the ever present challenge of complying to the regulation and product security and tracking, tracking and tracing. So with that, I'll hand over to the next segment on end to end traceability with, to my colleague Katya. She will talk about overcoming the lack of automation and how it can be done without any hindrance to your current operation. Katya, please take over. Thank you, Vinish, for this detailed insight into Peter Pharma. I think it's a great example for a successful integration of technology to track and trace products throughout the supply chain in order for customers to receive what they ordered, to have a secure and traceable product supply chain, and to achieve compliance with government regulations where necessary when it comes to the pharmaceutical product distribution. However, Beta Pharma was built as a greenfield project, but that is not always an option. Often in order to make one's warehouse future ready, one needs to work with what they have already. For example, an existing warehouse. An existing warehouse poses lots of different challenges when it comes to finding the right solution and approach. The biggest challenge would probably be on how to upgrade from manual or semi-manual operation to automated operation while keeping the existing order fulfillment running. With the following case study on United Drug Wholesale, we'd like to show you how a successful warehouse upgrade can potentially look like. United Drug Wholesale is Ireland's leading distributor of pharmaceutical items such as medications and health and care products. 
due to the continuous growth of their pharmaceutical supply chain branch and to maintain the market leadership, an extension of the existing distribution center in Dublin was necessary. In order to achieve the two main goals and challenges, to increase the picking system from 7,000 to 12,000 order lines per hour, and to upgrade the system during operation, a modular solution that can be realized in multiple steps in only 18 months was necessary. A quick overview of the solution and technologies that are implemented within this project uh, is, seen, uh, is shown in the layout. So we have the goods receiving, where we have implemented 12 goods in workstations for ergonomic product handling. Then for the picking solution, we have the A-frame for the fast mover picking, two Schaefer mini load cranes with a total of 21,000 bin locations for replenishment of the A-frame via Flowrex, as well as side picking for slow movers. In addition, there are two pick to tote stations for medium and slow mover picking who are supported by our Schaefer carousel system with eight carousels and a total of 11,000 bin locations. And coming to shipping, in order to make the shipping preparation more efficient, we have implemented four document drop machines that insert delivery notes into the bins automatically upon order completion. And after that, those bins are stored in four additional carousels with 6,000 bin locations that is used as a shipping buffer in order to bring out the totes later in the correct sequence for loading. But let's jump straight into the video for United, for United Drug Wholesale to get a better view of it. While you can watch and follow the video along the different operational areas, I will give you also from time to time some interesting facts alongside it. Here you can see those ergonomic workstations, goods in workstations, the pallets are brought in and then the goods are distributed into the bins, we have a compartment illumination to know since we have separate compartments where the worker has to put the goods exactly. One thing is actually worth mentioning in this project is that the old existing warehouse did have some first generation existing automation from a competitor. It included rackings, some conveying system, as well as A-frames. However, to make the implementation possible during the ongoing operation, it was necessary that some parts from the old system had to be integrated temporarily into the new growing system until testing for the respective new areas was done and the old parts could be shut down for good. The old PLC system was subsequently replaced and a new WCS system was put over it. And yes, this means that we had to piggyback on the old system occasionally and have it interfacing with our new PLC during implementation of the project. You can see here another RF picking operation, as Vinish described earlier, for slow mover picking. And on to the A-frame replenishment area. Did you know that often the amount of required communication to make such a related foot project successful is really underestimated? Continuous communication between the realization teams consisting of project manager, software engineers, mechanical and electrical engineers, as well as the customer's operational team took place almost every day for this project. At those meetings, it was then decided which area was to be cleared next and what parts would be going live next. And even though a detailed time schedule was made prior to implementation, a day-to-day -day feedback on the progress and the continuous readjustment of the schedule was necessary in order to not cause any disturbances to the running operation and stay on track for the overall timeline. From here on, you can see the goods to person stations that are doing approximately 1000 picks per hour. We have two of them in this system with compartment illumination where necessary and then goods are dropped into the bins and the order totes go straight to the next stations. With the implementation of this new upgraded warehouse, not only has the picking performance been increased significantly, but we are also avoiding idle times during picking 
have replaced the manual replenishment process and achieved a clear and optimized space usage throughout the warehouse while still having the capacity for future extensions in this project. We have the sequencing. What you can see here is the sequencing for the shipping preparation. So here the totes go to the shipping lanes and we have some full case picking that merges with the shipping lanes to be distributed to the customers from here on. And well, that's it. Let's go to the recap for the United Drugs. United Drugs Wholesale is a good example that with enough planning and experience, interruption of operation can be really minimal, as minimal as possible actually, and that a new facility isn't always necessary. However, it also isn't a unique case. As I Schaefer actually has dedicated teams that have years of experience in that field and who solely focus on faithful fitting and upgrading existing warehouse operations. Actually, five to 10 projects per year of our pharmaceutical projects are retrofit projects. Through this experience, we have identified some of the most important key factors to make upgrading your existing warehouse a success. First comes the operation and analysis. This means, together with you, we carefully analyze your current operation to take bottlenecks and critical operational elements, as well as to get an in depth understanding of what you actually need. Then at the concept creation stage, we develop a solution that fits your needs and takes into consideration the critical operational elements that were identified based on the operation analysis. A modular realization plan is developed, keeping in mind the operation areas that have to be kept running. Concept creation, operation analysis and realization plans aren't really one way streets but rather it's a back and forth between them until the best solution is found. However, the best plans wouldn't really work without our experienced IPMA certified project management and their teams. With the vast experience of our project realization teams, we successfully carry out the realization of your improved fulfillment center. At SSI Schaefer, we do take life cycle management very seriously in order to ensure that everything is running smoothly, even after successful implementation of your upgraded warehouse. Our customer service team will be there to assist when you need help 24 hours a day, seven days a week and 365 days a year if necessary. At the core of this all, we believe that together with you is the most important key to success. At every step of the project, we work closely together with your project and operational teams to ensure smooth integration and startup, as nobody knows your operation and needs better than yourself. So I hope you're all still with me. Um, at SSI Schaefer, we believe that continuous development and innovations are our responsibility in order to meet future market needs and in order to always be able to bring you the best solution for your needs. Thus, what I'd like to present to you in the last section is taking your healthcare logistics one step further into a minimal human staff warehouse. If the current worldwide pandemic has shown us one thing, it would be that going out to shop or having access to an almost unlimited labor pool isn't always guaranteed. Thus, having a pharmaceutical and healthcare logistics facility that relies on minimal operation staff, especially for repetitive and simple tasks, going for a highly automated warehouse could be the edge that sets you apart and gives you the opportunity to serve your customers, even when the world seems to be at a standstill. Our extensive product portfolio that is highly interconnecting with each other allows to present you with solutions that do just that. The videos that you can see playing already show some of the products that together could be used to create a healthcare logistics facility that depend on minimal operational stuff. We have for one the A-frame, an automated single piece picking solution that is used for picking the fastest moving items and in combination with a scan machine for auto verification. It can dispense and scan approximately 4000 pieces per hour 
depending on the order profile. Then we have our new SSI Schaefer piece picking robot that is also a single piece picking machine which picks and scans the product at the same time at a rate of up to 800 pieces per hour. It is used for medium to slow moving products and is supported by a shuttle system and can handle single order or multi order picking. It could potentially even be used for storage and picking of RX products as accessibility to products is only by certified staff when necessary. Our shuttle system portfolio when used a storage and replenishment system can be used to supply required products to the piece picking robot as well as the storage and presentation of replenishment products for a frame picking. We are also always looking to partner with reliable innovative companies that can complement our own product portfolio. In the healthcare logistics sector, one of those partnerships is with Bova. Verimax machine is a picking automat for single product picking that includes a 100% order check as well and is typically used for slow mover picking of RX or RX, uh, RX products. One automat can pick between 300 to 500 boxes per hour and replenishment is done either manually or automatically. It can also be combined, as you can see, in line with our A-frame or separate with its own collecting belt. Last but not least, as Schaefer also has an extensive range of handling machines, which you can actually not see in the videos, but you've seen some of them before in the videos that uh, for Peter Farmer for the project actually. From toad stacking and destacking to document drop, lid closing, automatic carbon directors, and automatic tray loadings to round out the portfolio and to bring our operation one step closer to a minimal human operated healthcare logistics warehouse. At the bottom line, this would only leave goods receiving, A frame replenishment, error check stations, shipping, the actual loading of the trucks, and outside technical staff which would be much easier to maintain than a labor intensive operation. Well, this ends my part of the presentation and I hope to have given you some food for thought. And with this, I hand back the mic to Alison. Hello guys, so thank you Katia and the team for the insightful sharing of how United Drug implemented new technologies in their existing operations and the interesting breakdown of Vida Pharma's journey to adopt technologies that had addressed their operation needs. It is clear to us that these companies are driven by not just being forward looking with the trends and technologies and challenges in the healthcare industry, but also addressing them by adopting the right technology needed. Like how Wallace mentioned earlier, in SSI Schaefer, we are honored to have had work with our customers from different industries for the past decades in automating their logistics operations, regardless of a greenfield or brownfield scenario. More importantly, the team in SSI Schaefer is committed to help you piece together the solution that will address your business needs and how you would like to service your customers and partners. So we have come to the end of our webinar. Special thanks to all of our speakers, Klaus, Herbert, Wallace, Vignesh, Cardia, and also to all the participants who have took the time off your busy schedule to join us this afternoon. If you have further questions on this topic, please email us at the email address that you see on the slide. We have our email address and also the LinkedIn profiles of our speakers are on the screen. So you can take up your phone right now, snap the QR code and connect with them immediately. So just have a wonderful afternoon or evening, everybody.